perfect distraction for the way you took the idea that I had of everything. Hey guys, Kiwi Sylveon, and welcome back to Seduce Me To the Demon Ward Eric's Route in the last episode. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's a lot that's going on. So apparently. Well, first we made love to Eric, of course, because you can't help but have slut with your boy. And now Diana's giving them a speech of the lifetime. Like, she didn't say I was rude, but this time I'm actually taking time to actually try and translate it. Ele dio dominati su nostri, nostri stret, iumitere, profundissimum, inferni detractos. And that is roughly translated to he had long ruled over us. We pull him into the depths of hell. Yay! I love that word. Yay! And then there's all that. To war! To, to battle! battle! Yay! Wee! Come! We must hurry. Oh god, Eric. I forgot how it was Incubi. Warm look. So sexy. So, so sexy. Not just... Sexy as Sam's, but I'm saying. Just look at those horns. Damn, boy. And, and? Bam. Of course, he's also taller than all the other Incubi, but still. Yay! We know this. Is our route clear? We've done what Yay. we Yay! Straight through here. Woo! You'll be fine, though. Just follow the tree line. Tree line. So, this is it. Remember I... your surroundings and protect each other. I just finished your route, James. You're awesome. Holy shit, I just knocked my mic again. Be careful, all right? Well, do Make Dessa. Make sure you stay safe. Okay, Dessa, go away. Kick his dead body a couple times for me, all right? Right in the head. Yes, Sam. And I finished your route before James is, so. Because you're my, my head cannon. Mine. Mine. Back off, Gary. We'll be right here rooting for you and watching your back, okay? You better keep Sam's ass safe, Gary, or I'm going to kill you. We'll finish this and rush in as soon as we can, alright? You'll be the next one we save, Matthew. Woo! Make sure you kick some serious ass. Show that old goat what he gets for messing with you. <laughs> we'll win this. We know we can. Yay, Damien, you'll be the next one. You can do this. We'll see you soon, okay? Holy shit, she's short. I mean, she's half fay, but look at how tall she is compared to Eric. Let me see your Odessa. Remember your surround. Oh, wow. Be careful, all right? We'll be right. We'll make sure. We'll win this. You can do this. We'll okay. see you soon. Let's go. Woo! Let's see. We made our way through the thick of the forest, dodging each tree and root we came across. I could tell that something was ahead, causing me to grip my circulator and fill it with my energy in preparation. As I expected, we were rushing towards a group of imps who were about to jump into the war fray from the side to, as a surprise attack, making me smirk. The surprise would be on them instead now. I quickly pulled the circlet, my circlet off of my wrist and gripped it, forming the large golden whip from its handle and lashing it at the group of demons ahead of me. The chains quickly wrapped around their necks like a snake and quickly tightened, breaking their necks. Bye! They couldn't even let out a scream as their voice became crushed by my whip. As they fell, I continued forward, deforming the whip and chucking the circlet in front of me, laying my barrier circle my form. My incubus kept up the pace, surprised to see what I had essentially done. Princess, where did you learn that? I grinned back at my love, giving him a wink. A gift from a succubus. I continued to rush forward, heading straight into another group of imps, and rushing past them, 
letting my circlet go to work. As my barrier brushed against them, the circlet quickly raked up the imp's backs and shredded through them, making them fall forward from the pain. You done? Good. The imps fell as the others ahead of them turned and became shell-shocked at the sight. It must have been a big surprise to see a human cut down a, a group all at once. But I wasn't so friendly and merciful, especially in this war, as I lunged forward again and took a hold of my circlet once again, forming the whip and lashing at them. My whip wrapped around one's neck and slammed into the others, causing them to fly out of the forest into the battlefield before my whip vanished and returned to being a barrier around me. My incubus, despite probably being surprised at my carnage, followed as I continued forward, fighting through every imp that came our way. I had lost count of how many crossed me, but I didn't care. All I cared about was getting to the castle. By the time we reached the end of the forest, there were a slew of dead bodies behind me. I stood at the tree line, panting and feeling waves of adrenaline and lack of energy run through my veins. <clears throat> I panted for air, slowly focusing on calming down, as my energy quickly depleted from its adrenaline so high. The circlet around me quickly vanished, no longer able to maintain its form without my energy, and reappeared as a simple accessory around my wrist. That was all I could do before my energy was suspended and a wave of exhaustion rolled through my body. I began to fall forward, exhausted. My fiancé, however, quickly rushed forward and caught me in his arms. Aww. Whoa! Princess, are you okay? H huh? I looked up to see Eric staring down at me with, deep with a deeply concerned gaze. We were safe for the moment, so I merely smiled up at him with a nod. I'm fine. I promise to protect you like you protect me. Eric let out a small laugh, kissing my forehead and hugging me to him. You spoil me so much, my love. I hugged him back, feeling relieved that we had finally arrived at the castle, and were about to rush inside. As we slowly pulled away, Eric lifted me up and helped me to my feet. Will you be alright? I nodded, shaking off the exhaustion from my mind. I was ready to end this. I looked up at the castle gates and felt a rush of determination run through me. Let's go finish this shit. <laughs> With that, Eric and I rushed into the castle. The final battle had begun. Eric and I rushed into the castle and into the main hall, where we could hear Diane and the demon lord clashing swords. I will tear you to shreds! Holy shit. Calm down, Diana. And as we finally entered the space where the battle was happening, we stopped at the doorway, stopped Diana slamming her sword over and over onto the Demon Lord sword, which was out over his head like a shield. Oh, sorry about that, I yawned. I'm so sleepy. From the look of it, that the demon lord was severely wounded and was trying to hold out against Diana's barrage of balloons. Diana was looking too well herself, but she seemed to have the upper hand. What was scary was that Diana's face was completely smeared in blood. You can find a frightening look of rage and anger in her eyes. Holy shit. Every swing was reckless, powerfully prone to eventually hack into the demon lord. To her displeasure, the demon lord was able to block each time. Eric and I slowly stepped in, watching as Diana continued to beat steel to steel in angry rage, trying to find an opening and becoming more enraged with each block the demon lord pulled. Soon his body began to glow, pushing with red energy. Rain up! Um, fuck you, Diane. Holy shit. With a blast of red lightning, Diana was set flying back. Slamming against a pillar and falling to the ground with a thud. Ah! Diana! The demon lord seemed to ignore my shout as he stood up and began to walk over toward Diana's fallen body. Then tried to press up onto her hands, stumbling and buckling a bit before she glared up at the demon lord while he approached. 
I should have waited until you came back, so I could have killed all of you in one fell swoop. <clears throat> oh shit! It about go down. Diana's glare intensified as a large, as large black and purple flames engulfed her body from the rage that ignited within her. You bastard! Yep, that's what he is. He's a bastard. Believe it. He is a fucking bastard. Pouncing off of the ground, Diana formed a new saber in her hand. And flew at the demon. Swinging at the slices, throw Tobin. However, the demon lord parried him. Walking still once more with her and leaning in with a hard glare of his own. How does it feel to be the only one left alive in your family? Not even your unborn sister survived! Oh, fuck you, demon lord. Holy shit. Diana snarled as she slammed her feet into the demon lord's chest, forcing him to back and causing, herself, her, causing her to catch herself on her wings, remaining in the air. The voice that erupted from Diana's mouth sent shivers down my spine. You don't even deserve the mercy of death! Yes, yes he does, and yes he does, and... Eric instinctively placed an arm in front of me, staying put and watching intently. Both of us were sure that Diana possibly had this, but we didn't want to get in the way of her rage if he was full on going berserk. Yeah, that's a good idea. The demon lord let out a laugh before pointing his hand at Diana. Something a large bolt of red lightning to shoot up and snap into Diana. Luckily, Diana had placed the sword between them and blocked the lightning for hitting her skin. Still, she slammed back into the pillar and she hit the floor and held there against the screen of heavy red lightning. <laughs> You're losing your power, Succubus! Just like a weak parry! With a tearful scream, Diana began to push back, shaking and gritting her teeth. The wounds on her body began to bleed profusely, but she eventually sent a wave of purple flame-like energy into her sword and let in a climb of her lightning bolt into the demon lord's hand. Ah! Fuck you! <laughs> demon lord quickly pulled his hand away, revealing a sizzling and burning aura around his palm and fingers. Diana, weakened, fell to her knees, exhausted but not out yet, for I still born to her enemy. Not ready to give up. Oh, hi, Eric. Hi, Bay. Hi, hi, is that us? Hi, 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 <sighs> Sorry. I can't help it. Every time I see an incubus in their true form like this. Yeah, hello. I felt myself going hard at the demon lord. He was a monster that needed to be stopped. Eric. Feeling my anger, stepped forward and began to summon his erythral tendrils behind his back and around his form. Guess it's time to step in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I watched as Eric brushed forward and planted his feet beside Diana, reeling his hand back and punching them forward. As he did, a crown of tendrils shot up from the ground around his body and flew up at the demon lord that could spray of arrows. Demon Lord glared and sliced each attack out of him, panting from exhaustion, but not ready to see him here. As he slipped into the last one, he sneered at his second son, gritting his teeth. You! Yes, him. Eric smirked, licking his, li licking his lips slightly. Did you miss me, father? Mm -hmm. No, he didn't. But I missed you. Holy shit. Why could they have a sex scene with the Incubi in their true form like they did with Sam? That's sad. I can imagine ways to hold horns with most of them. As he finished his sentence, Eric formed another round of spikes behind him and shot them towards his father, glaring as he blocked it and knocked away each one again with his sword. The demon lord let out a dark chuckle. Like I would miss little insect traitors like you. You did not fucking go there. You did not just insinuate that not only Sam, 
But James, Eric, Damien, and Matthew are traitors? Oh, hell no! Damien Lord let out a howl before slamming his giant sword onto the floor, causing the ground to quake and large cracks to cut through the marble and charge at Eric's position. Eric jumped into the air and landed beside the broken earth, sending out another volley of spikes. Luckily, one rammed into the demon lord's shoulder, causing the shout in me. Dad, do you do? Losing your touch, aren't you? Ooh, cocky. So cocky, but still so handsome. The demon lord snarled before ripping the spike out of his body. Letting the wound bleed openly before rushing at his son with his sword held high. However, Diana swooped in and slammed her saber in the path of his sword, forming a deadlock. I'm not finished with you! Ooh, hello. Thank you, Dave. Whoa. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, had to make sure it wasn't freezing on me. Diana and the demon were pushed against each other, eventually jumping away from each other in aggravation. As Diana landed beside Eric, he stepped in and pointed his hands at the ground, where his tendrils burrowed through the marble and jetted out like a spike trap. Watch a bitch. Aww. The demon was quick to react, rushing back from the before the spikes impaled him from below and glared. The match had become an unfair fight for him. But in our case, it was needed to finish him off at last. Just as cocky as your mother! Wonder she was my least favorite! Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Demon Lord. How many times have I said you to fuck you? First, you bring Heidi here. And gives her will, technically. Uh, you wanted to use her, and then you killed Diana's family, and then... Hmm. Do I need to go on? And now you insulted Eric's mother. Fuck you. Eric suddenly grew a dark face. The tendrils around his... And his body going in a red, misty aura. Something snapped in Eric's emotions, and the demon lord triggered it. Triggered! Don't worry. I'll send you to a place where you'll never have to see her again. Ooh. Boy, he pissed. Eric and the Demon Lord then simultaneously rushed forward at each other, with the Demon Lord raising his sword held high and Eric moving his tendrils to wrap around the blade. Eric and the Demon Lord went into a deadlock, with the Demon Lord trying to cut through the hold his tendrils had on his sword. Eric, however, formed more free tendrils and shot them up at the Demon Lord from Lolo, causing his father to release his sword and jump back, now unarmed. Eric stripped as his tendrils snapped the sword in half with insane ease and pressed the two halves to the side to be forgotten. I watched in anxiousness, hoping this battle would end soon. It was two against one. The Demon Lord wasn't going to I, however, kept my distance to make sure he wouldn't attack me instead. I had no energy to fight. Taking in what Eric had done to the, his weapon, the Demon Lord snarled. I can beat you even without my sword! Remember who raised you, boy! <laughs> oh, brother. Police. Eric let out a large bark of a laugh as the tendril sharpened into spikes once again. I'm afraid you're mistaken. My mother raised me. You were too busy doting on your favorite son to care about me or the others. True. You ain't lying. The demon lord growled, his fists becoming engulfed in red bolts of lightning. I created you. You owe your very existence to me. I owe you nothing. Mm-hmm. You tell him. Tell your father off. And by the way, kick his ass. The demon lord only laughed before suddenly gasping for pain. I had barely seen what happened. But as I stared at the demon lord, I gasped at the sight. Protruding from the demon lord's chest were a spray of red spikes, dripping with his blood. Sorry! 
could barely keep staring. Ugh. My finger got tired, apparently, and when you could push the button. I could barely keep staring as he turned and looked to us in shock. I looked over to Eric to see him pointing at the wall behind the demon lord, where a collection of spikes drifted through a back black void into the demon lord's back, effectively skewering him. Fuck you, demon lord. You never paid attention. You were blinded by pride, and that will be your downfall. No! He's mine! Jesus. Eric quickly pulled back his tendrils from his father's body, causing the demon lord to fall forward from the pain and momentum. Diana, however, swooped at the demon lord and rammed her saber into his chest. A garbled gasp escaped me in his throat. That's more like a garbled gl Garbled. Garbledness. By the way, Eric, holy fuck are you ripped. Not as much as Sam, but fuck. Without hesitation, Diana pulled her sword out and stabbed him once again, driving her blade all the way through him to the hilt and snarling into his face. Those were for my parents. A third stab, directly through the heart. For my sister! Diana pull, finally pulled her sword out and rammed the pummel into his, the side of his head, pushing him down to the ground in a lifeless thud. He was dead by now. His eyes glazed over in death's cold, breathless embrace. However, Diana didn't care. Diana quickly straddled his waist, bringing up her saber to, and using her magic to shorten it into a dagger in her hands above her head. And for every life you took from this world! So you're going to stab him nine and a half million times. Fuck. I thought Matthew went crazy with Malix in the first game. Holy shit. Madden, Diana began to violently slam and Pepper stabs. Sorry, the sound. Stabs into the Demon Lord's chest. Eric rushed over and wrapped his arms around me, covering me from the sight, but he was unable to block the sound of Diana's sob filled screams with each stab. I became a bit frightened at Diana how she was releasing her anger. However, it was entirely justified. He had taken everything from her and had caused worldwide chaos. There's only really natural to demand revenge even after death. This was her last stand with him, and she had dominated his very corpse with her red blade, and carrying up the lost spirit n no longer within it. It went on for far too long, to the point where Eric had, l had to let me go and walked forward. Pulling Diana off of him, she began to flail, dropping her knife and letting it fade as it hit the ground into nothing. No! Let go! Diana! Eric pulled Diana to her feet and gripped her shoulders, shaking her and glaring into her eyes. Enough! <laughs> Diana's eyes were bloodshot, desperate to keep striking at the dead body, but filled with emotion and broken inhibition. As she finally took in Eric's words, she shut her eyes and almost dropped to her knees, releasing a wave of sobs and cries. Oh, Eric, hug her, bae. Hug her, Eric. Just hug her. She needs a hug. A lot of hugs. <laughs> Tons of hugs. I don't care if she's in blood. Hug her. I walked over to Eric's side, pitying Diana. She must have seen so much death. This was her solace and her chance to let go. To know her family was gone because of him, much pain in my heart. But I knew that it was finally over. They were revenged, and so were the many people who had died under his hand. The demon lord was dead at last. I felt a weight lift off of my heart and spirit, proving to me that the curse was broken, and that the chain that bound me to the abyssal plane was gone. I could go home. I hugged Eric's arm to me, finally letting out a sigh, the sigh I was holding in relief of the situation. Eric smirked and kissed my head. It's over now. Yay. Yeah. We can go home now. I felt a wave of joy rush through my body, happy to know that I was free to go home. 
I began to began to, began to become overjoyed at the idea of returning, walking across the aisle and marrying Eric before returning to my normal life. Life in the demon world was an adventure, but it was time to finish this and leave. I smiled to Eric before kneeling down and placing my hand on Diane's shoulders as she cried, causing her to look up at me. I could only smile at her, trying to rel relieve some of the heartache and burden she was releasing. It's over, Diana. We won. A small breath of silence ran through the air before Diana wiped the tears from her eyes and nodded. Still shaky from the experience. It's over. Uh -huh. That's what me and Eric told you twice. I nodded and gently helped Diana stand before taking Eric's hand and walking towards the entrance of the hall. Diana, however, turned back to look at the demon lord's body, stopping us in our track. Was this all worth it? I lost my family because of him. There was so much bloodshed. Diana tightened a fist at her side, gritting her teeth and shutting her eyes. I didn't get to say goodbye to my family. My sister. Oh, sorry, I am so tired. I can go to sleep after this, because this is going to be a long time. She wasn't real. I felt another wave of empathy run through my body at her words. She wasn't really alone, though. She had settled. He was surely everything she had left in the world, and he was more than willing to walk through it with her. It was alright, so I reached out and take, took, to take her shoulder, and I looked over, seeing the comfort in my eyes despite her broken gaze. Before I could speak, however, a familiar purple light glowed from the demon lord's body, catching our eyes and causing us all to look over and truck. What was happening? What the... Before our eyes, a faint purple orb slowly appeared and bobbed up and down in the air, looking to us. The orb that had haunted me and was expelled from me floated in over the dead body of the demon lord as if it had been there the entire time. You! The orb moved in a circle about the demon lord's body, landing the faint trace of a trail behind it temporarily draw a circle in the air. As it returned to its spot, it returned to a pulse of light. The light slowly drifted toward Diana, impacting her chest and making her glow a bit before the light faded away. Confused, Diana stared at the spirit, trying to figure out what it had done. Was it an attack? Slowly, Diana became wide-eyed and at the fam at familiarity. With a shaky hand, Diana reached toward the orb, lost emotion in her eyes as she kept her sights on the spirit. Oh, Arabelle. I started Diana in shock. It had a name? How did Diana know the spirit at all? It was like she was grasping, grasping at straws. How did Diana... How could Diana know, have known who it was? The orb floated forward, stopping in front of the demon lord's corpse as Diana took a step toward it. Hi, Isaiah. I was wrong. Diana hit the nail on the head with its name and seemed to be acquainted with it. Diana took a couple more steps forward before dropping to her knees in the middle of the hall. I watched as tears began to stream down her face and her body began to quake. The orb slowly floated over to Diana and hovered within arm's reach of her. Diana's hand shakily lifted up and put past her chest and over her mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, big sister. Big sister? Diana was her... Diana suddenly allowed a tearful gasp before reaching forward and taking the orb into her arms, somehow pulling the orb into a tight embrace. The orb seemed to sheer... Well... <clears throat> Shimmer in the hug it was in, but it didn't seem to react in any other way. Diana, however, became a weeping mess, crying and shaking while holding Aurabelle close. Aurabelle! Aurabelle! <laughs> Come 
believe it. The spirit was ordered about Diana's sister? What kind of coincidence was that? How did Diana not know herself? How did Orabel not tell me? I it obviously knew Diana just from how they were embracing. Still, the sight of Diana and the mournful mournful teary mournful tears gripped at my heart. Diana lost her sister, then suddenly was able to speak to her once more, even after Orabel's death. It was as if fate wanted to apologize for taking her family away. Why couldn't I do that with me? Oh, never mind. I almost became cry a crying mess myself. It was a very tearful reunion after a dramatic battle. I didn't know how to feel in the situation we were in. Diana didn't seem to care. She continued to cry and hold Orabel. Eric wrapped an arm around me, comforting me as I wiped my eyes and tried to avoid weeping. Diana, however, didn't seem to care about the tears running down her face. This is the first time I've heard you cry, sister. I'm sorry. I want. I tried to save you, but I. It's okay. The demon lord did this to me. It suddenly made sense. Orabel was an unborn baby, so it wouldn't have known its name. The demon lord was the one who killed her, so the puzzle pieces were connecting perfectly. The demon lord made. Orbo then phased out Diane's hand, making the demoness gasp and look up at the orb. Orbo, however, floated in place and cut to Diane as she continued to speak. The demon lord made me find the human. Wait, what? What? Orbo was working for the demon lord? She helped the imps bring me to the demon world? Orbo, you were in the human all along? <laughs> Why not just tell me? Why? He made me. But now I have nowhere to go. Oh, Aurabel. Something in the air didn't seem right. Nothing about Aurabel became off, and I couldn't place my finger on it. The more I stared, the more concerned I became, and the heavier the nervousness in my gut grew. Isaiah, I love you so much. But... Air seemed to freeze in the room as, and became still as Orabel floated back towards the body of the demon lord. As Orabel stopped, she began to glow a dark red and purple color. I can't forgive you. Oh shit. Full my alchemist in this bitch. All at once, the orb flashed and vanished into the thin air. Only a misty, misty gas present in the, the aftermath. Orabel! We looked around, trying to pin down where she had gone. As the demon lord's hand suddenly lifted up and slammed onto the ground, we shot our heads back at his corpse. Seeing it begin to animate. Oh, fuck. The demon lord slammed his other hand to the ground and began to push himself up, curling his shoulders over and using whatever strength he had in him in getting to his knees and eventually his feet. Um, what? Oh, fuck. The demon lord's body stood up and steadied itself on the ground on its two feet, heavy and void of life. What? What's happening? How could this be? I'm going to leave it here and probably finish everything in the next episode, but holy shit. I will, yeah. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next